Good morning. My name is Rama Shakaki, and I'm presenting Etsy, the crowdfunding uh, solution. Meet Ola and Ahmed. They're both Syrian refugees who've dropped out of university because of lack of funding. Like many young men and women their age, they're connected to the rest of the world with their mobiles and social media. There are 141,000 other Syrian refugees like them who cannot afford higher education. And by the estimate of the Rescue Scholar Fund, less than 1% of refugees worldwide have access to funding for higher education. Most drop out, settle for low-income jobs, and some become burdens on their host countries. 86% of those we surveyed did not know crowdfunding solutions existed. Meet Lulul Khazan. She's a social influencer and a donor. Like the other 90% of donors we surveyed, she, they want apps that can connect them directly to the refugees and allow them to select them by university, by uh, uh, degree, and fund them directly and fund the universities or the educational institutions directly. Educational institutions are st struggling. 50% of students in Gaza Islamic University are under the poverty line, and Jusud, a scholarship foundation, has only been able to grant 4% of their qualified applicants. So the need is great, and it continues to grow, and the challenge is to find a solution that can very easily pull all the stakeholders together and offer crowdfunding in an easy way. Our team, who's from the target population, researched 1,000 students, donors, and uh, scholarship foundations and educational institutions, and found that a key missing component in crowdfunding is awareness and the ease of creating campaigns that are impactful. They also found that the industry as a whole is moving towards more niche communities that are focused on particular causes where donors feel passionate uh, and can easily find their beneficiaries. Hence, we found um, we started Edseed, a mobile crowdfunding application that is coupled with training programs. The application makes creating uh, campaigns as easy as uh, Instagram posts and alleviates the donor concerns. It's under testing right now by students, and the way that it works is we have educational institutions onboard, onboarded. They help us deliver the training along with the refugee students and then um, the students' campaign. Institutional donors cover our costs, so 100% goes to uh, the, the students. And then we've been able to exceed our uh, current projections thanks to the MIT Solve uh, voting. And in the end, we would like to deploy uh, 21 million in three years, covering 6,000 scholarships and hopefully exceeding that with the support of the MIT community and your support. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Rama. Hi. Uh, how do you uh, vet every student and make sure that the money is spent on education? Right, so we're onboarding universities and scholarship foundations. They will receive the funding and they're collaborating with us on vetting the students. So they'll have access to the uh, application and they'll be able to filter students by the IDs that they present. Thank, thank you for the presentation. How do you get the money? So how many people just are going after just uh, the money? Just you will just uh, after uh, funnel to the students. Right, so we have institutional uh, uh, donors who will cover our fees and then the crowd uh, that will uh, see the campaigns running throughout social media. Sure. For the, uh, the media, so how do you just uh, get the name out of the door? So how do you get people just knowing you? Right, so um, it's, it's the efforts of the young refugees that we're working with in the training. Uh, as an example, when we launched uh, EdSeed for the MIT Solve um, voting, we had over 20,000 views in two days, and uh, that was powered by the young students themselves and their social networks. And then the other part of that is going out and presenting in donor communities, um, like the Syrian uh, Business Council or some of the other communities that care about the target population. Um, it, so in other words, the student is the one who goes on this app first, right? And so um, 
are you also covering their like their stipend to buy food and their housing and who covers all that or is the money just for tuition so the money uh, is for tuition or scholarships which may include food and stipend and the partners are scholarship foundations and universities scholarship foundations can say the student needs five hundred dollars for their food and other activities they receive the money on the behalf of the student and then give it to the student What sort of training do you provide them? That's one. And secondly, from this higher education, how do you map them to move out? I mean, do they stay in the camp, or do you basically map them with the higher universities abroad or wherever they go, where they can transfer the credit and actually make something out of it? Right, so the scholarship foundations are taking care of the path part. Um, our focus is on the crowdfunding. Um, and the, um, sorry, I missed the, the second question that you asked. Uh, Right, the training. Um, we, we had started doing training generally about crowdfunding, but we found we have to couple it with some sensitivity training on how it's okay to accept uh, funds for university. And we're doing that online as well as on the ground at universities and with the Scholarship Foundation. Thank you. Thank you.